Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks. I'm going to be your tour guide today. I just returned from the Carnival Venezia. We sailed from New York City to Canada. It was awesome. This video today is going to be about the food on the Carnival Venezia. I'm traveling today with my husband, Kelly. Like all cruises, Venezia has a lot of different dining choices. So I'm going to share with you our experiences, what we loved, what we liked, and what we didn't like so much. Of course, this is only our opinion. Everybody has different tastes and wants a different experience. So I'm hoping this video today could help people, especially if you're new to cruising, decide what dining options and choices might be best for you and your family and party that you're going on the cruise with. A little note before you go to help you make better plans for your upcoming trip. All right, welcome to the tour. We're gonna start the food tour today in the Canal Grand Dining Room. When you book your room, Carnival or your travel agent will ask you, do you want early or late seating or your time dining when you can dine whenever you want? If you decide that, you will be dining in this dining room here. You would need to download the Carnival app to reserve your place in line and they tell you when to come. If you choose to do your time dining, you will never have the same staff or the same table. The food in the dining room was fair. I wouldn't say it was great. My husband liked his steak. He didn't love it. I chose to order the vegetable lasagna. <laughs> I really didn't want to start the video this way, but this was probably the thing I liked the least on the whole cruise. I really didn't care for it. On a more positive note, aesthetically, it's a beautiful restaurant. I just didn't love where they seated us. I went on the app about seven o'clock and said that we were ready to come and it said to come at 8.30, so I was a little disappointed because I thought it was any time dining. When we arrived, there was a ton of seating available too and they put us like, bam, right on top of another couple. Not a big deal, they were really nice. Dessert is fantastic though. Definitely get the dessert, especially the chocolate lava cake. It is so good, I loved it. Definitely redeemed <laughs> the meal because we didn't love our dinners, but we loved the dessert. You can find the Grand Canal dining room on deck three and four. Here is a look at the view from from deck four it's lovely like i said i went there twice during my cruise and i just had a really bad location both times on days at sea they also have a brunch at the canal grand that we both enjoyed very much the yogurt parfait is fantastic definitely order that here is a look at carnival skillet cake it was really good we both really enjoyed the sea day brunch and we definitely would do that again on our next cruise now I'm going to take you to the top of the ship. This is where you're going to find the Lido deck. That's where you're going to find the buffet and a lot of other yummy places to eat. These buffet desserts, this is what they had in the dining room. So it's good to know if you don't make dinner, you could still have the same dessert and some of the same entrees that they serve in the dining room. First, I'm going to show you your drink options. It's all self-serve and this is what's included complimentary. You could have juices, you could have iced tea and lemonade. No soda, there's an extra charge for that. I was really surprised to see that. I thought that would have been included. They do have drink packages though if you're interested in having sodas and alcoholic drinks and even specialty coffees. There is self-serve ice cream as well. That is all complimentary and it's open pretty much most of the day. If you don't want to pay extra for fancy coffee, you could get regular coffee upstairs by the buffet. You serve yourself. Okay, now I'm gonna show you where they have the buffet. I'm gonna take you for a walk first and show you all the places that you could choose to sit. We ate here a lot, honestly. I think personally, I just love the freedom of just being able to choose where I wanna sit. You know, we sat by the water. If you don't like where you're sitting, you could get up and move and the food choices are excellent. There's also pizza, burgers, and Mexican. It's fantastic. Not interested in buffets? Don't go anywhere. I'm gonna be showing you some specialty dining. We're gonna be going to Viaggio and also Fahrenheit 555. If you're enjoying this video or finding it helpful, can you do me a favor and please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I have more videos I'm making about the Venezia. It's a beautiful ship and I had a wonderful time and I have so much information I want to share with others. Only problem about buffets is you're going to have to wait in the line. I tried to get there early, but sometimes that just didn't work out. <laughs> this is a look at one of the dinner buffets. We didn't eat here. <laughs> I seriously waited in line just to take a video. <laughs> but we didn't eat here because we were full. So much good food, so little time. Now I'm gonna show you a, it was like a pasta lunch we went to at the Marco Polo restaurant. If you select first or second seating for your dining plan, this is the restaurant you'd be dining in. 
I just booked the Carnival Glory in March, and I chose the early dining seating option because I sort of just missed having the same server and sitting with the same people. I feel like we didn't make any friends on this cruise. We met people, but we didn't really like get to know anybody like you do when you sit with the same people all week. I just got stuck hanging out with this guy. <laughs> so it's pretty much like dinner. You know, you choose an entree, you choose a dessert, you choose the appetizer. The food that we ordered was good. It wasn't anything that was sensational. It was, you know, it was just pretty good. But maybe that's just us. There was a very long line for it. There was a lot of people that wanted to do this. You know, apparently a lot of people like it. I just feel like mine could have used maybe a little bit more flavor. That was the fettuccine carbonara. Desserts were stellar. They were the best. I, I, the desserts on Carnival are really, really good. I don't know, maybe we're crazy or just very low maintenance, but one of our favorite <laughs> meals was the Guy's Burger Joint. We loved this. This was so, so good. We loved it so much, we came here twice. <laughs> uh, here's a list of the burgers that you could order. It's just burgers and fries. That's it, just that. I just peeked ahead. We're gonna get really hungry. We have a lot of food coming up. <laughs> but the burgers, we love that. I love the topping bar so much. Here and at the Mexican restaurant, the topping bars are fantastic. Mm, yeah. Yeah. There is already so much on the burger, but they also have the topping bar, which has chili, fried onions, all this extra stuff. Amazing. Really, really good. <laughs> I wish I had one now. Now let's take a look at pizza. This is Pizzeria del Capitano, which has pizza till 4 a.m., guys. This is all complimentary. There's about four different kinds. There was like a white pizza. My husband got the pepperoni one. I tried the white one. It was really good. I believe this opens at 11 a.m. There's like food around the clock, except for in between like 4 and 6 a.m. But we're gonna be looking at breakfast now. The very first thing you're gonna find is cereal in the morning. Cereal and coffee. You can find this all up at the buffet. Next, you're gonna find the continental breakfast, which is gonna be more like fruit and pastries. I loved coming up here early. I was here before any of this was even open, the buffets. And it was so easy, I didn't even have to wait in a line to get these videos. Yeah, the ship was pretty crowded, but I tried to be strategic, you know, and try to, you know, get there before the crowds, and it worked out. I could sit pretty much anywhere I want. There's no lines. So here is a look at the actual buffet that they put out in the morning. And I find it to be pretty much the same every day, except they randomly change some stuff. Some days there's pancakes, some days there's French toast. It seems to be there's eggs benedict every day. Sometimes it's salmon on it, sometimes it's ham on it. So, but basically all this stuff you're seeing right now, this seems to be there every single day. When the buffet first opens, there are two lines for the buffets. There's one that's identical to this, and in busier times, four different buffets open. I really enjoyed all the food that I tried at the breakfast buffet. There was nothing I didn't like. Things I repeated during the week was the yogurt. It was really good. Um, the eggs benedict and the pancakes, really liked those. They also have omelet station as well. Now let's take a look at Tomodoro. This place is open for breakfast and lunch. I think it closes around six. I call us the Mexican place, but they also have meatball grinders. It's like Mexican, maybe a little Italian, but the food is really good and it's fast. Usually there's no line for this. Oh my gosh, but very, very good food here. And guess what guys, they have a great toppings bar here as well. Like seriously, if you're a foodie and you like flavor and spice, that orange aberno sauce, it's like a salsa. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I wanna like buy a bottle. I wanna buy like a case of it. <laughs> so delicious. That and the chocolate lava cake will keep me coming back to Carnival time after time again. <laughs> That was a look at the breakfast. The condiments stay the same for lunch. Just have to show you because it's all rolled up so pretty. But here's a look at our breakfast burrito that we ordered. This was the second to last day of our trip. We had to have that again. We were like, we just love it. It's so good. And look at the view we had. This is why I like dining up here because you know, you can go sit anywhere you want. Let's take a look at another dinner buffet. Some of the things I had for lunch, the soup, the pasta carbonara they were up at the dinner buffet so if you miss it for lunch you could get it a chance to have it at dinner time at the buffet the breakfast buffet like i said before is pretty standard but the dinner 
buffet, you find that things change more often, the desserts and the menu items. Look at these cakes. They also have a midnight buffet too, which I'll be showing you in this video as well. Here's a look at a lunch buffet. Are you a first time cruiser or a cruising veteran? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. A lot of good photo opportunities on the Carnival Venezia. You guys want to see some specialty dining? <laughs> I certainly want to go again. That was great. We're going to be going to the steakhouse. This is Fahrenheit 555. It came with an appetizer a dinner and a dessert and it was $48 per person. You can find the specialty dining on Carnival Venezia on Deck 5. Deck 5 is also a really nice place to go if you're trying to escape the crowds. They have an outdoor walkway that spans around the boat that has a lot of little extra seating. Some of them are bars, but some of them are just lounging areas. I'll be featuring Deck 5 lounging as well as Serenity, which is an adult only area in an upcoming video. Look out for that in the future. To start, they give you some bread and butter and basil butter as well. Then compliments to the chef, they brought over this little mini sized burger. It was like a slider. It was so good. It was like two or three bites, but it was delicious. That's a classic burger. Do I do it all at once? Yeah. Definitely some Instagrammable <laughs> worthy food here for sure. For an appetizer, I ordered the stuffed mushrooms, which came with this dipping sauce. My husband had the wedge salad. We both ordered the filet mignon. It was so good. I got the potato with the trio of toppings. You had your choice of sides with the steak. I also ordered the Bernay sauce. Oh my gosh, delicious. Was it worth the extra money? I think it was. I wouldn't probably do it every night, but it was so special. It was delicious and had so much wow factor. I loved it. No big surprise here, but our desserts were totally fabulous as well. I ordered the cheesecake, it was so good. We really enjoyed the whole experience. So we're gonna try it again. This time we're gonna go to Viaggio. Unfortunately, you just can't walk in. You need to make a reservation ahead of time. I made it right on my phone on the Hub, which is an app that you get from Carnival. And unless you get the internet package, it's like the only app you could use on your phone while you're on the water. If living without the internet sounds dreadful to you, you can get the packages so you could go on Facebook and you know, surf the web and all that. I found it very relaxing not having it. I did get it for one day, our day at sea, just so I could edit the videos and stuff. But other than that, I really kind of just enjoyed just the moment of being on the cruise difference between this and the steakhouse this was four courses not three and it was $42 not 48 we found the service obviously to be much better at the specialty restaurants as well they even asked us if we wanted cocktails or wine when we first sat down they didn't even ask us at the other restaurants at the canal grand it was kind of like what do you want to order <laughs> it's very rushed this isn't rushed at all and look at these fancy plates they offer you one piece of bread. I highly recommend ordering what my husband got. Whatever that stuffed bread thing was, that was excellent. Very, very good. They come around with a basket of bread and ask you what piece you want. I had ordered the croquette. We had risotto and mozzarella and sauce in it. It was fantastic. I loved it. My husband ordered, it was like a pillow puff with sausage and peppers. No, sausage and pesto, I believe, was in it. He wasn't that crazy about it. I gotta be quite honest, he didn't like it too much. Next course, so I ordered the baby greens with the hazelnuts. Oh, I love that, that was great. My husband got the barley soup with the ham. He wasn't too crazy about that one either. He's really striking out, but I'm loving mine. Another huge win for me was the pappardelle. I loved it. I had the meat ragu with it. It was fantastic. I thought it was so flavorful, done perfectly. The pasta was just perfect. 
Kelly, well, <laughs> he got the scarf yellow and it was bone in. He didn't know that. So if you are going to order it, it is bone in chicken if that bothers you too. Um, he really liked the grilled zucchini though. And we both love the dessert. I'm telling you, Carnival's got the best dessert. I really did love this restaurant and we love the ambiance. Kelly just is going to be better about next time doing some research about what he wants, but we would definitely go back there again. It was excellent. The service was good. Look at this dessert. It's beautiful. The chef gave us complimentary. I'm not sure what this is called. I have to be better about this in the future. And also we got two lemon cellos to, to finish our dessert. We made a friend next to us who ordered the same thing I did. Hey, if you see my video, say hello in the comments. I never got your name and I Hope you get to see this video. She was telling me about how she watches YouTube videos about the specialty restaurants. And I'm like, hey, I'm filming one right now. Here's my card. All right, we're back upstairs. I'm gonna be showing you the Midnight Buffet. I'm totally amazed that I made that because I'm usually asleep by 10 o'clock. <laughs> this is not like the buffets of yesteryear. And back in the 90s and stuff, when I used to go to buffets, there was ice sculptures, all that kind of stuff. This was sort of like, pizza, hot dogs, chicken nuggets. My husband said it was like kids food. It was like snack food, you know, it, it was fine. It just, I think we just came at a bad time. Everything at that point looked a little picked through and unappealing, but hey, they had food, that's awesome. You could also get beer here at the food court. You have to scan your room key. I don't know if I mentioned this before in any of my videos yet, but Carnival Cruises are cashless. Everything goes on your room charge. Even at the casino, there's an option to put your gambling on the room charge really dangerous okay it's time to go home boo <laughs> this is our last breakfast and as you can see it's pretty much the same breakfast as it is every day my final thoughts on the cruise food i really honestly i'm not trashing carnival at all i really like it i mean there's just some things that i loved and some things that i'm like eh. so i try to be as real as i can in this video to help you find the best dining choices for you like these omelets, they're so good. You have to wait in line for them, but I, I think they're worth it. And I found them on the last day and I will definitely do that on my next cruise because they were just really good. Found an awesome table, grabbed a cup of coffee and a croissant, made a great breakfast. The croissants are really good too. Makes a killer egg sandwich. Just need some of that Urbano salsa. Fabulous breakfast with a fabulous view. Can't beat it. Love cruising. I can't wait to do it again. I really hope you enjoyed this video and help found it helpful. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below. It gives me more motivation to do this on my next cruise. Click on the videos right here for more videos about Carnival Venezia. This is your host and your tour guide, Jennifer Sparks. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. More importantly, just book that cruise. Be good to yourself. Be kind to others. Safe travels to you and happy cruising.